William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? I'm not one to make weight, Doctor. I have patience to attend. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drug shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse.
behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. Surely grant me access to the basement. fortifiers <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective but they do contain iron tartrate and that might prove itself useful These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood.
Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. It's locked, all right. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage.
How long must I wait, dammit? Blaming me will not further your agenda, sir. How long's it going to... Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father, ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. As for me, yes, Doctor. Why then do you always work the nights? Don't you ever sleep? At the Pembroke, we're always hands on deck. Your dedication to the Pembroke does you credit, Nurse Crane, but when do you sleep? We staff get our sleep when we can, Doctor. Nursing is a vocation, not the labor of a journeyman. That's all for now, Nurse Crane. Thank you.